Hello, it's Ruben out here and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. <laughs> yes, and uh, it has been a tremendous day today. The Lord's good is good all the time and all the time God is good. Uh, anyways, my children, they love me and uh, uh, today being the Father's Day, they prayed for me and uh, uh, yes including my wife and my mother they also prayed for me but my children had uh, some nice and uh, encouraging words to speak to my life and they really built me up and uh, that uh, that was in the morning well late in the morning maybe it was about 11 in the morning um oh no wait a minute that was not it was it was almost uh, yeah, almost afternoon, I guess. And uh, anyways, whatever the time. But now it's... Uh, what is the time now? Okay, it's, 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 it's 11 Indian time, 11.15. And uh, at night, but still I am... I still have that hangover of that... Uh, the joy and the encouragement I had this morning from my children. So anyways, Mika said something very important which struck a very special chord in my heart today. Uh, yeah, it struck a very special chord as a father uh, towards my children. Uh, in my responsibility as a father towards my children. And uh, what he said reminded me of Ruth Graham's story that he, that she shared on her father's funeral, Billy Graham's funeral, and basically how her she was sharing how her marriage ended in divorce. Twenty one years of marriage and ended in divorce and uh, devastated. She moved closer to her siblings, where she would be introduced to a church, the pastor of which would then introduce her to a widower, with whom she, you know began to date immediately and uh, decided to get married. So she told her parents about it. Her parents asked her to slow down and she was probably rushing too much. But she testifies that being stubborn and uh, wanting to do what she wanted to do and uh, she um, uh, got married to him anyways. But after 24 hours after 24 hours of getting married to him, she saw, you know, the truth, the, the real truth about this man. And uh, probably after four or five days, she left him and now totally devastated, totally shattered and broken. She began to drive to her parents' house, which is up on the hill. And she speaks how as the road, you know, it winds up to the hill and to her father's house. And right there at the entrance of the road, her father, Billy Graham, was waiting. As he stepped outside the car, he went and hugged her and said, Welcome home. And she says that that day she realized what, you know, the father heart of God is like when it comes to forgiveness, when it comes to loving his children, when it comes to acceptance. You know, and she says that of course her father is not, you know, is not perfect. Uh, it's not like God, or, you know, so perfect as to be compared to God. But she said that 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 day her father showed her what you know the God the Father, what his heart is like towards his children. And uh, so I was reminded of that story, and when she, when I was watching that funeral video you know and that particular story it came so you know the Lord used that story to speak to me and uh, that story was so powerful to my life it began to change me I began to, it was you know I began to introspect myself as a father towards my children uh, because at times uh, probably many a times you know I, I could be harsh toward them towards them and and I want, you know, sometimes very, maybe overbearing towards them and strict and, uh, 
uh, you know, trying to put discipline in everything. And, uh, uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, when I heard that story, you know, uh, I prayed to God that, I mean, a, a, a question arose in my mind that if I as a father was expressing the father of heart of God to my children, can my children learn something of the father heart of God through me as their father, physical father, you know? And uh, so that I was very powerfully convicted if I was expressing the, if I was expressing the loving, you know, heart of God the Father to my children and uh, not being overbearing and then just accepting them as they are with all their faults and with all their weaknesses just loving them and of course yeah that discipline is a part of you know uh, of love to our children and yet uh, sometimes uh, it could be one sided only you know discipline 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 no love or love 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 no discipline so there has to be a balance of both and discipline is probably not probably it's another expression of uh, you know our love uh, for our children but uh, that story of Ruth Graham began to change my heart my attitude towards my children and today Mika said something which I wasn't aware of and I didn't expect that to come out of his mouth those words and he, this is what he said now Mika is different from the rest of his siblings. Um, he's 15 years of age, so at this age, young boys, you know, they, they think, probably most of them, and I was one of them, uh, they think that uh, they are strong and they can do everything, and, and uh, you know, yeah, and uh, just that, and sometimes they can be arrogant, and... Uh, so he has this attitude sometimes, and uh, he could be where he could be rough with his siblings, and sometimes replying back to his mother, and at times to me too. And so, but this is what he said. He said, uh, "What I've seen in," he said many other things, but this is what. But this one thing he said about me really uh, hit me very powerfully, in a positive way. It encouraged me. It built me up a lot today. He said. Uh, what I like about daddy is, although at times I'm so naughty and I'm disobedient and I'm arrogant and uh, I displease them, I displease him and I displease both of you, mom and dad. And yet, my daddy's love for me never changed. My daddy's love for me was never based upon my performance. But he loved me, you know just as I am. He loved me constantly with the same love, even when I was, you know, uh, when I let him down. But this is what I like in my daddy. This is the quality I've seen, him, uh, seen in, uh, in him. Sometimes, and this is what he said, um, sometimes I feel I've done, you know, so much. I mean, against, I've gone so much against them, against my daddy's will. And but then I realized he loves me yet the same. And uh, so my, I was emotional when he said that because I wasn't aware of that. Uh, but then that, that story of Ruth Graham probably, you know, two years back. Uh, yeah, it's two years back, I guess now. And uh, after that, because I began to, you know, uh, reflect back her story uh, before God the Father and began to pray God to change me and to help me become more and more like Him how He is to me as a Father how He bears with me all the time how He bears with all my weaknesses and short, uh, shortcomings I fail Him again and again and uh, because I know myself and uh, I know what, what you know, things, uh, the things that get into my mind, which probably is displeasing to the father. And uh, my attitudes at time towards 
even my children, my wife, uh, people, you know. And, uh, and uh, yet my father loves me all the same. I mean, his love for me never changed never changes and uh, that is what I've seen in the Father and and he loves me all the time he accepts me all the time just as I am and uh, so when Mika said that I was so encouraged that I realized that God is at work in my life God is changing me and helping me by his grace to become more and more you know a better and a loving father like he is and uh, of course, I am far, far, far from being perfect, from being that, uh, uh, from being, uh, you know, someone uh, or, or a perfect uh, model of a father. But yet, I'm thankful to God for the work that He's doing in my life. Uh, it's all because of His grace. And uh, yeah, so uh, praise God for the children, for my family. And uh, and thank you to you too uh, for praying for me. And uh, once again, uh, happy Father's Day and God bless you.